Hello everyone, today I'm answering a bunch of random questions. I mainly got them off of Google, inspired them from others, and just kind of made some myself. So I'm just going to get straight into it. So things to do when you're bored. Um, what I normally do whenever I'm bored is read and paint my nails. Um, or I like to draw a lot. That's something that I, that's one of my personal hobbies. Um, I like to ride my bike occasionally. Um, just like, yeah, that's just mainly what I do. Okay, next up, best movies slash shows to watch. Um, so movies that I personally like. Um, this movie is a thriller. It's not necessarily for like kid kids i think it's like a pg-13 um it's called the maze runner i'm sure you've heard of it maybe i don't know i'm not you but um it's one of my favorite movie series there's three of them um really good movies honestly they're great um i like megamind megamind's a good movie personally um and then shows i like um, the show called The Babysitter's Club, it's, uh, like a slice of life, you know, it's mainly just, like, it's about these four girls who decide that they're gonna start babysitting because they want to earn some money. Um, next up, I like watching Alexa and Katie, that's a good show. Um, yeah, so those are some of my favorite shows. Uh, best ways to make money as a teen, kid, tween, literally anything. Um, so what I personally do is make bracelets, um, they're currently up on Etsy if you want to go check them out, um, but personally what I think you should do, so yeah, that's a pretty easy one, um, the price of my kit that I got was, I think it was like 15, maybe 20 bucks, um, you can start a lemonade stand, that's a pretty obvious one, a lot of people do that, um, yeah, just like kind of simple things like that, um, or, like, selling your old stuff on websites like these. Um, that could work out pretty good. Um, yeah, that's just personally what I would recommend. Just, like, doing things like that. Okay, so, next up, let me look around a bit. Um, what is the best way to ask your parents things? Um, personally, what I have the tendency to do is text them because you're not right in front of their face. Um, I'd recommend just texting them whenever they're not doing something that's, like, crazy important. Like, don't text them whenever they're at work. Um, but I'd recommend, like, texting them, like, I usually text my mom whenever she's getting her nails done, whenever I ask her stuff. Um, just, like, whenever they're not doing anything crazy important, they're just, like, running some errands. You know, just things like that is what I would recommend. Um, next up, what is the best way to make friends? Um... I personally just don't, like, wait. If you find someone interesting, I know this is going to be hard for people who have social anxiety. Um, I have the tendency, it, it is kind of difficult for me sometimes, but you just have to go for it. Because, like, what is the worst that is going to happen? Like, they might say no, and that might be a bit embarrassing, but it's not like you're going to die if, like, something like that happens, you know? Obviously. I'm an idiot, but... <laughs> um... So yeah, I recommend like just walking up to them and starting up a conversation. I know small talk is a very difficult thing to start out, <clears throat> but like it. Let's say you were at um, let me think. Let's say you were like at some social event. Be like, oh, what brings you here? Or if it's like a family party type thing, or like like a friends and family party or something like that. Just be like, oh, who are you friends with? You know, like just like. Just kind of start talking to them, babe. Like, come on. <laughs> sorry, I'm like so loud and annoying most of the time. So sorry about that. Next up is best way to balance friends and like friends, family, and hobbies. I would recommend um, making like a to do list or like planning things out because if like time management, if you don't plan things out, then you're not going to be able to balance everything. You can't just like throw it on there and expect everything to work out because that is kind of, it is difficult to balance things like that you know just like make sure that you um know what you're doing and have things planned out because it's just not gonna work out if you don't if you have like so many hobbies and so many people to hang out with like you 
you have to like set certain things for yourself next up best way to get rid of like toxic people i am a tween like a tween girl and i have been through quite a few different um like friendships throughout my life and most of them were with toxic people because i suck at telling if they're toxic or not whenever i look at them um i have gotten better at that i swear um but um i feel like the best way to get rid of them is tell them what's wrong be make a compliment sandwich honestly compliment sandwich is where you give them a compliment you tell them what's wrong and then you give them another compliment just kind of do that kind of thing basically and um be like here's an example i love being your friend and i love hanging out with you but recently you've been kind of getting on my nerves and um I was thinking that maybe we could just take a break for a little while. You um, are kind of intoxicating my life, honestly. And I, you're a great person, I swear. I know that somewhere in there you are a really good person. But I just feel like you need to wait a little while before we can be friends again. So yeah, that would, that's what I would personally do myself. Um, next up is how to feel more confident. Um, I'm not the most confident person, but... What I personally do is I write down a list of all of the things that I like about myself. All all of my great, like, just, like, all my great, like, what's the word? All of my great differences and all, just, like, all of that. Just write down a list of all the things you love about yourself. Compliment yourself in the mirror. Wear, like, th- clothes that make you happy. Don't. Like, let people be like, oh, you don't look very good in that. Don't listen to them. They're just being cruel because they're insecure about themselves, okay? You're beautiful, I swear. Next up, fun hobbies to try out. So, personally, my hobbies are bracelet making. I like baking. Um, I do a lot of art, video making. I would highly recommend trying out those. Um, Things that I really badly want to try out. Um, I would love to try out, like, pottery, just, like, clay making in general. Um, also, I like taking photos. That's a really fun thing to do. All you need is some type of electronic. You don't even need a special camera. Just, like, take pictures, honestly. It's really fun. Um, so, yeah, that's what I would recommend. Um, yeah. How to get over friends or just people in general. Um, I would recommend giving you, like, giving yourself a couple of days of just self-care full of things that you love to do to just get your mind off of it hang out with your family plan things out draw just like do your hobbies get your mind off of them because i'm sure that they were not a good enough person if they didn't give you enough time to be in your life so yeah that's what i would recommend also i'm so sorry the sound in this video is probably pretty low quality but i'm filming inside of my car not my car, but... Next up, how to feel happier. Once again, self-care days. I'm in the middle of doing self-care days. I love making videos, so that's why I'm doing this today. Um, But just, like, giving yourself a couple of days, just do the things that you love. If you're in a bad mood, do things that you love. Just, like, have fun with yourself for a little while, you know? Just give yourself some time to heal if that's the problem if you're healing through a relationship with friends or anything like that just give yourself some time don't try and rush it that's personally what i like to do and the last question is how to help people whenever they're crying or upset i know that that is something that a lot of people struggle with like helping people whenever they're upset like I'm, I would say I'm a pretty good person to come to whenever you're upset, but my family sucks at that, honestly. They're so bad at, like, being good at helping you whenever you're upset. But personally, um, how to help other people, um, I would personally say talk to them, okay? Ask them what's wrong, and if they don't feel like talking about it, don't try and be like, well, I can't help you if you don't tell me. Don't do that. You're fe- it feels like you're rushing them and that's horrible you don't want to do that um i would personally say i would talk to them for a little bit i would not ask them what's wrong if they don't want me to but i would kind of get their mind off of it by asking them like um let's say what did you do today what are what is hobbies that you've picked up recently 
do you want to hang out tomorrow? Like, just give them something to think about other than the fact that they're upset. What the heck is happening? Is it starting to rain? I think it's starting to rain, but luckily that was all my questions. Thank you so much for watching. Um, this video was so much fun. If you guys have any questions, please do put them down in the comments. I would love to make a second part of this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!